semicolon, uh, colon, expand. This is the code we're going to call, call expand. So we're going to write expand in a bit. And open by close back because it is an expand function. And let me just, oh, there we go, plus three. So we're going to call that expand in a minute. And that will do for the rollover. So that's our rollover code. Let's just check it's all okay. Yep, so that's fine. Um, we also need to import, and we could have done this as well if I had used the code snippets tool, but we also need to import the flash net. Oh, sorry, the flash external. External. Uh, external interface. There we go. So we've imported our external interface. There's our drop down. Let's check this all works now. Oh, undefined property uh, role OT. So let's just check what I've done there. And that's coming. That's coming up because we haven't actually written our role OT yet. We've just done the role O. So if I just want to just give it a comment that out. Okay, now it's working fine. ActionScript 3 is a lot more stricter on, on whether or not the function's been written or not. So uh, you will find that as a difference. Okay, next step uh, we need to. Um, write the rollout, obviously. So let's write the rollout. Function roll OT, and this is an event. Void, and here's our function. So um, drop down. So we're targeting a drop down uh, movie clip there. I'm writing it all in one line. It doesn't matter whether you do or don't. You can always auto format afterwards, and um, that'll be fine. Um, in fact, let's put it just down there so we can see it a bit easier. Okay, drop down. Dot go to and play and we're going to go down uh, go to and play up there we go and all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this line of code here and paste it under here and I'm going to change expand to retract There we go, and I'm just going to finish off that function there. Let's auto format to check it's all okay. All good. Uh, let's just check that I've uncommented that. Yep. Let's publish it. Nice and easy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, just turn this into a mask as well now. So if I go to the timeline and click on the mask there I'm going to mask it there we go so that's pretty much the end of our flash there now what we're going to do is we're going to go and play with the HTML file now if you're using an earlier version of Dreamweaver then we'll discuss some issues with the SWF object um, but for my students, I'm going to include the SWF object on Moodle as well. And the HTML file document will be there as well, but I'd like you to try and at least set it up and at least put the Flash document into the HTML. Um, but if, it, if you're finding that difficult once you've tried that a few times and copied the code, then you can always use the existing HTML document that I'm supplying. Um, but have a look at how it's done. So I'm going to save this. 
and I'm going to save it in my file somewhere here. So new, and of course expanding inside of there. Expanding, and don't forget to publish. Control and enter. So that will produce our Swift file. There. Um, one thing you can do, and um, we'll look at that in a bit, is speed this up as well by just adjusting the frame rate. Perhaps a higher frame rate of around 35 to 40 would be better for this, but we'll have a look in a minute after we've done the HTML. So I'm going to start up my Dreamweaver now. We are in our HTML, in our Dreamweaver, and I'm going to create a new HTML document. If you're one of my students working on the old version of Dreamweaver, don't worry, these files are available for you on Moodle, so you can go and get them if you wish to and just put your file straight into it. Or you can, if you're one of my students, you've got your laptop there, and you can you have the CS5 or CS4 or even CS3. This should work fine for you as well. So you can either use your own laptop and try this out, um, or what you can do is try it out on the older version. If it doesn't work, go to Moodle and download the versions, and from there. Now, what I'm going to do is create a new HTML document, and I'm going to slightly cheat here because. Um, I found this great site which was about creating expandable banners in ActionScript 2 and it contains nearly all of the JavaScript and um, div tag CSS that we need. Um, this is the HTML we're going to use. This creates two div tags. Um, one's a parent and one's a child as it says here. Uh, it's embedded for the embedded flash. And um, if I go to the code view now here and in between the body and paste this code our div tags should be set up and if I go to design view here's our div tags here and they've got a height width of 600 which is the same as our flash document and a height of 150 so um, that's our div tags and also what I'm going to do is get this JavaScript here which is almost right and by the way there's going to be a link underneath the video here if you need it so you can come to this website and copy this code um, I recommend actually let's have a look at their website. I recommend it very much. It's J Pedro Ribeiro, uh, creating expandable banners with Flash and JavaScript, and that's for ActionScript 2. So uh, there's some similarities there, but um, the Flash and the Flash and ActionScript 3 is much much more difficult uh, to get your head around. Um, right, so we're going to put the Java in here now, and I'm going to put it in the head, and I'm just going to paste the Java in there, and you'll notice that it looks very similar to flash. It says function expand and there's our function and here's our event and it's document get ID by name so we're going to get this ID here and all it is is going to get the idea for the style clip here and then it's going to get the idea and the style clip that way around as well so it's expanding and contracting using the Java so our flash is hitting this function expand when we roll over and retract when we don't roll over when we roll out and these are getting down here and getting the um, style off it from down there so it's changing it automatically and if you look at the design view uh, nothing's changed yet but one bit which is missing from the website is you do need to write script at the start so that's JavaScript 